Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you the top 15 SAP FI transactions you must know. So basically, SAP FI, so financial accounting, is one of the most important and widely used modules of SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. It is used for external accounting, so for example, the representation of a company's financial situation to the outside world. In order to do this systematically, SAP FI is divided into other sub-modules that are closely linked to each other. The main modules of SAP FI are accounts payable, accounts receivable, asset accounting, bank accounting, funds management, general ledger, special purpose ledger, and travel management. So yeah, enjoy this video and let's get started. And watch definitely till the end because at the end I will show you really, really nice tricks how you can get an overview of all SAP FI transactions, at least the most important ones. <laughs> so now let's enjoy this video and let's get started. So first start with FB01. So within here you can post a document. And if you open up the FB02, there you can change a document. I think this is one of the most important transactions in order to quickly make some changes or to display um, a document, you can open up the FB03. Then we move over to the FBL1 and transaction code within here, you can display the vendor line items. Then we have the FBL3N. Within here, you can display the general ledger account line item. Then we move over to the FBL5N. Within here, you can display customer line item. Then we have the F-02 transaction. Within here, you can enter a general ledger account posting. Then we have the F-03 transaction. Within here, you can clear general ledger account. And then we have the FB05. Within here, you can post with clearing. Then we have the FB50. Within here, you can enter a general ledger account document based on a company code. Then we have the FAGLB03 transaction. Within here, you can display the balance of a general ledger account. Then we have the FB70. Within here, you can enter a customer invoice. Then we have the F-44 to clear a vendor. Then we have the FB60 to post incoming vendor invoices. Then we have the BP, so to maintain a business partner and all the old transactions, so for obsolete transactions, so for example, XK01, XK02, XK03, XD01, XD02, XD03 are replaced by the transaction BP. Very important, especially according to SAP S4 HANA. Then we have the AS01 to create an asset, then we have the SA02 to change an asset and then we have the AS03 to display an asset. Then we have the FS00 to yeah, basically maintain a general ledger account centrally and then we have the F. 110 transaction basically yeah to set up the automatic payment transactions so within here you can set up the parameters 
Yeah, and folks, as mentioned at the beginning, now I would like to show you how you can get an overview of the most important SAP FI transaction. And as mentioned, SAP FI consists of several sub-modules, for example, the general ledger. And you can work with area menus. Here you can see the area menu F000. Uh, if you are in the start menu and type in, in a command field the idea of an area menu then basically within a tree structure very important transactions will be grouped and categorized and listed on different nodes and if you double click on one node okay function is not available but basically if you double click on one node then you will move over to the transaction so the transaction will be called um, if you would like to set it up as a start menu, you can do this within the transaction code SU3 or under system and then user profile user data and then defaults and here start menu, you can set it up as default. So every time you're calling the SAP menu, the start menu, um, this menu will be called. You can every time change it back. Um, but yeah, this is one important for F SAP FI in general. But for general ledger, there you have also an area menu and it's called FSMN. So once you execute this, then you have the very important transactions for the general ledger. Then we have for accounts payable also an area menu and it's the FKMN. Within here, you have very important transactions for accounts payable and for accounts receivable, you have also an area menu and adds the FDMN. So yeah, for the customers. Then for the bank accounting, you have also an area menu and it's the FBME. And for the asset accounting, you have also an area menu and it's the ASMN area menu. And folks, really watch this video once again, have a closer look on the area menus. Search through the area menu with control F. You can you can search, just open the notes, see what kind of transactions are there. And if you would like to get a closer look, you can also open up the area menu within the transaction SE43N. So for example, the FSMN and then display and then control F. You can do an extended search. You can uh, you basically also show within here the transaction code and so on what you like to. Um, by the way, if for you the transaction code is not display, then under extras and settings, you can activate the setting display technical names. And then at the beginning of the note, the transaction code will be shown for you as well. Yo, Fox, I think SAP FI, as mentioned, is such a huge module with so many functionalities, with so many processes. Uh, it's it's a huge, one of the biggest module, in my opinion. Um, yeah, and if you would like to get a closer look on one specific transaction, please put it in the comment section and please like this video please subscribe to this youtube channel to support my work to support this channel and of course to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and then see you in the next video